What I'm going to talk about is a little thing that we started four or five years ago. We send invitations out to our five main feeder primary schools. We just invite them to send a team of four uh, budding young mathematicians. Uh, my, oh, I've got a clicker. And they just come to spend a day or part of a day. To them, it seems like a full day with us at Kingsmead. Um, with Liscombe Primary School, is close enough that uh, TA can walk them down the road and, and into us. We actually send uh, one of our uh, support staff with a minibus around to the other four schools. It's a small expense on our part, but it offers a really big uh, carrot and it makes it a lot easier for the primary schools. Um, they don't have to send anyone with them. Okay, that we've got a member of staff who collects them and delivers them back in time for them to go home, back on their buses or with, with mums. Uh, it's a very low impact for the primary schools. Uh, we kind of take, try and shoulder that burden as much as possible. All they have to do is get parental consent and let me know if there are dietary requirements or if they can't have their photo taken. That's really it. And we are kind of aiming at some of the, the brighter kids and that doesn't necessarily tie in with the ones who are uh, naturally comfortable and confident mixing with new people, whether that be adults and staff that they get to meet, but also new kids of their peer groups that will make up their peer groups in September when they start. So these are, and, and sometimes some of the brighter kids who academically can do the number problems or the algebra, uh, not so much with the social side. And so for them, because they are with people of like minds in a room together, um, it kind of, it, it lends itself to, they're probably going to be in the same math sets in the next few years anyway. It gives them a head start getting to know those people. Um, they always get a certificate at the end. So what we do is we take from the five schools and we mix them around. First rule is sit at a table so there are no two people from the same school with you. So they are forced into a situation where suddenly it's new. But then we do name stickers and badges and we give them a team name. And it's nice and relaxed and they're just problem solving. And my big emphasis here is not on your number skills or your algebra, but it's on talking with the people around you. And right the way through secondary school, my big focus is on how you communicate mathematically using the language and numbers to back up your arguments. Um, lots of collaboration, communication, and then we get them to do a design task. And it is hands off, you can't touch the coloured paper. Okay, you have to do the designing first and as a team bring your ideas together to decide how you will build the tallest freestanding tower you can with one stick of sellotape and some drawing pins. Um, they love it. We had a record, uh, the winner this year was over 1 metre 60 tall from five sheets of paper. It's quite a, quite a feat. Um, what we have is then they get back in their own schools, they love a bit of competition and they like being back with people from their own uh, schools, they get to be a team and they get to compete for another little prize um, but they get to represent their school and, and we've got that whole idea of be, being part of something bigger and it's all about checking each other's answers and they repeat a lot of the same questions and try and come up with the best team uh, submission for their answers. Uh, so that's my time up, basically uh, they enjoy the day. They get to meet new members of staff, they get to see the settings, the classrooms, they're in a maths classroom. I kind of stagger my day so that they take their lunch break when our secondary pupils aren't on their lunch break and they can have the playgrounds and go outside. And it's only 20 of them, they get to meet new people, it's very low key, very relaxed. Um, but I still have, to, to this day, I've got year 10s now who remember coming when they were in year 6. So it makes an impact. Um, uh, oh, I did have one more, just a little one. Something to you to think about. I've done my bit now. From a survey of year sevens, at the end of year seven, how was transition for you? Cast your mind back a year. Two experiences, two pupils. You can read it, can't you? Let me get it out. Which one enjoyed their summer the most, looking forward to starting year seven? And they're direct quotes. I'm not going to tell you which primary school. That would, wouldn't be fair. Um, you can do an awful lot at, in year six to get them ready, or you can actually make it potentially scary. So, thank you very much.